As you could probably tell from the title, this is how you're gonna go from age seven to age probably maybe 16 maximum. And I have not seen you guys in two weeks. I don't have really an explanation. Oh my God, I just licked. Oh my gosh, I hate myself. There, I saw something on my tripod, so I licked my finger mid talking and just wiped it. I haven't seen you guys in two weeks and I'm so fucking sorry for that. I hate making excuses for stuff like this, but I was in Michigan and it was the holidays and then I went to Chicago. Today, we're gonna be doing my makeup. I am a cake face. I've been asked on multiple occasions how I do my makeup, uh, what eyelashes I use, how I do my eyebrows, all that kind of stuff. So I decided that I was gonna do that for you guys today. And I know that I have a pretty even ratio of guys and girls on my channel, and I know that most of the time when people do videos like this, it's not the guys that are usually watching it. I hate that, I don't wanna offend anyone. I'm not saying like, oh guys can't watch beauty tutorials, I'm not saying that. But I'm just saying that more often than not, guys don't tend to watch this stuff. But if you're a guy, please watch. So yeah, let's get started. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is take this hair. Oh, by the way, I don't have blonde hair. Gray hair fades really fast, which sucks, but I really like the way it looks for the week that I have it. So the steps that I do my makeup in are probably gonna be really weird for most of you who know how to do makeup and who do your makeup. I don't do foundation first or anything. I actually work on my eyebrows and then my eyes and then I do my face makeup. It just works for me. So it's gonna look weird. It's gonna look nasty. It's gonna look stupid. All right, so I'm gonna start with, and most people use the Anastasia brow products, but I don't. I use Cabrow by Benefit. It comes in this cute little thing, whatever. And then I use the brush that comes with it because I trust makeup companies when they add brushes. Oops, I didn't even brush them. Wow, this is the worst thing. I forgot how I do my own makeup. So the first thing I do is take this brush and I just, this is my mirror by the way, so if I look down, I'm gonna try not to, but I just brush my eyebrows up like up here so that the hair is up here on pointing light and it helps me sculpt it out later on. Like I said, I'm gonna use the Cabral by Benefit and then I'm just gonna trace around my eyebrows. I didn't put enough on there. Guys, this is so difficult. How was your guys' new year? How was your time here on this earth in 2016? How was your time here on this earth in 2016? Um, my new year's resolution is to make full sentences and not just stop speaking because I think I understand what people under like because very often I'll start saying something and then I'll think someone gets what I mean and then just stop saying what I'm saying and it's a really bad habit and then I usually connect somewhere back there yeah. and then I start you know taking the excess product that's on the brush after I make this and just putting it here and then you know I take a little bit more of the product and then just put it on my eyebrows Okay, so that's fine then, thank God. Yep, I wanna have my eyebrows arched to my hairline up here. And now, I'm gonna take this brush again, the one that I used originally, and just lighten up this eyebrow thing, and then I'm gonna lighten up this eyebrow thing. My honest New Year's resolution though is to, I mean, it's to do what I said with not finishing my sentences, but other than that, it's also to find who I am more. I wanna make you guys happy or whatever since you guys are subscribing to my channel, but off camera, I swear a lot. And I haven't really been doing that that much in my videos. Like obviously I've, I've, I bleep it and I've never uploaded a video where it's unbleeped. Me cursing in real life is just what makes me me. I just do it. And I just wish that I wasn't such a when it comes to showing you guys that. Basically what I do now is take my Tarte concealer. Um, I'll talk more about this when I do my under eyes and stuff, but then I just, I do this thing called carving where you put it under here and under here. So yeah, that's how it looks. It just makes it more arched and gives it more shape, I guess. I don't want it to crease, so all I pretty much do is just take a little bit of my pressed powder, my Rimmel Stay Matte, brush it right over, take my primer, put that on my eyelids, and then I blend it in. I'm in love with love you. If you guys probably can't hear her, she's playing in the in the living room. This is the brush that comes in it. This is a Naked Smoky palette. I'm gonna take it and use Combust, and I just put it in my crease thing. I do this so that when I actually put on more eyeshadow later, it helps it blend. Everything that I'm telling you guys, I've learned from Beauty Guru, so if it's wrong, blame Nikki Tutorials, but I highly doubt that she's wrong because she's a goddess, so. And then you wanna make circles. Like, you wanna make circles as if you were, you know, drawing circles. <laughs> okay, so now that that's done and they're more, I guess, defined, they have more depth, I take this MAC palette, and I've been really loving red recently, so I take this color. It doesn't really look that red, but it is. It's like a red purple color, but I've been really loving that shade on my eye lids recently. I don't know why. So I pretty much just dust it on there in the crease, obviously bringing it 
lower to my eyelids because this is the main color of my eye shadow. This really fluffy brush that I got from an Ipsy bag about a year and a half ago, two years ago. I really like, you know, cheap brushes. I'm not a big person that's like, oh yeah, I'm gonna spend $100 on a makeup brush because it makes it look 2% more flawless. That's just not something that I'm into, so. If any of this looks like wrong on camera or ugly, I'm just letting you know it doesn't look this bad in person. Now when that's done, then we go back to the Naked palette and I use this brush that I think I also got from an Ipsy. And I take Half Baked and just lather that ish onto my eyelid because I'm glitter AF. I'm not gonna be a matte all over my eyes so that when a boy you don't like tries talking to you or something, you can like close your eyes and then the glitter will blind them and then they'll leave you alone. I like to bring it down a little bit down here. It just looks really good and I feel like I've seen people on Twitter do it. All right, so now comes the worst part. The eyeliner. So I use the Maybelline Line Stiletto. Do some sort of wing to the best of your ability. I'm gonna try to do it. How do people do this? How do beauty gurus do this? I don't love this eyeliner. I enjoy it, I guess. It just, you need to have a a couple coats of it in order for it actually to work. But like I said, I'm not very wasteful with my makeup products, so if I don't like something, I'll still try to use it to the best of my ability, like I'll find another use for it. And then, you know, I just go in the inner corner right here. I shake really bad, so that's another reason why I hate eyeliner, is because like, when I concentrate fully on something. Okay, so when people give me their phone to take pictures, I get really nervous because I shake really bad when I have to concentrate on something. I'm actually pretty proud of myself for this. There you go, ooh, that's you guys. Ooh, in my dirty mirror, cute. Where'd he go? All right. Fell on the floor. Hey, <laughs> my dignity's down there too. Oh, nope, can't pick that up. We're too far gone. Guys, I'm so funny. So now I have to go find my fake eyelashes. I don't know where they are, so I'll be right back. All right, so I looked for about two minutes and then couldn't find the ones that I already used. So we're just gonna take a new one. The ones that I use are the Kiss Ever Easy Lashes number 11. You can only get them from Walmart, I'm pretty sure. But where I live, it's very select. Walmart so you might want to call ahead because one time I had to go to five different Walmarts to find it and ever since then that's been the only Walmart that's had them. Usually you know I get a tissue or a paper towel or something but I'm disgusting and I'm gonna use this receipt from Victoria's Secret for the eyelash glue. I use this the duo black lash glue it just smells really bad it doesn't like make your eyelids reek or anything not is that a thing I just said doesn't make your eyelids reek as if it's like a fear of people they're like oh no my eyelids are gonna smell bad. Nobody thinks that. Oh, all right. And that's, you know, I just coat it like that on the lashes. I don't know how much you guys can see it. I leave it to get tacky on the Victoria's Secret receipt. <laughs> and then you just try to put it on as best as possible. So yeah, you put it as close to your lash line as possible because when I first started putting these on, again, this is the same thing as eyeliner. It's gonna take practice before you get it perfect. Uh, I used to do it like very crooked. I push up my eyelashes when they're drying because if you just leave them looking straight, they look really up so uh the reason that i wear these by the way before i get asked a million times like why i just don't do my actual eyelashes is because one of my eyelids is way shorter than the other and it looks really sh and makes me feel really insecure when i have it on and i just feel prettier and better with these lashes on i mean i think i look pretty without makeup that's another thing is like don't assume that just because i do my makeup means i think i look ugly i know i look like a bomb ass when I don't have makeup on, trust me, I get it. Oh, and I just put on eyebrow gel. I use the Great Lash Maybelline. I take this mascara, L'Oreal Voluminous Miss Mango Rock. Brittany got me this for my birthday. And I just put one coat on it so that my eyelashes and the fake eyelashes blend well together. And now, we move on to the face. I use a primer. I just started using this. This is the L'Oreal Magic Lumi Light Infusing Primer. You're gonna wanna wash your hands before you do this because that's gross. If you don't, don't touch your face if you don't wash your hands first, cause that is how you get your face dirty and your pores clogged and acne starts going up. I don't really get that much acne, but I still don't like the idea of my face not being clean. So I'm gonna go wash my hands. Okay, so now that my hands are washed and <sighs> Bath and Body Works is the best hand soap ever. Now I'm gonna take some of this, and this, and this. <sighs> oh my fuck. I'm not even gonna say it. I'm not even gonna say it, please, please just shh. All right, all right, so now, yeah, like I said, you just work that into your skin. Primer helps your face feel really smooth and it helps the foundation go on a lot nicer and smoother and cleaner. Brittany got me this for my birthday and I'm gonna use it. I use the Maybelline Dream Velvet foundation in the color 40. So the reason that I use this is because I wanted the Tarte Amazonian Clay foundation. I wanted to try it for so long, but it's also a $40 foundation. I found a dupe for it 
and I fell in love when I started using it. I think that the coverage is so flawless and so nice without being too thick. I really love it. And now I take my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. Guys, this is everything. This is my favorite concealer of all time. I make these little triangle things, or sort of, I guess, down my face. It's kind of not a triangle, it's kind of a rectangle, but whatever. Now that you look like you're going to the tribes, I just dab it in. You don't want to rub it in. Or when you get impatient, you can just start rubbing. I don't, I don't, I don't give a f what you do. Now I take this really big fluffy brush and I take my Rimmel Stay Matte and I just go over my entire face. It's time to contour. So I have this brush that I got from uh, Secret Santa a year ago. It's just from a kit that one of my friends got me on Amazon. And then I take my sample size of the Too Faced Chocolate Soule Bronzer. I start like in the corner and pat it on and then I blend it out as I go. And then once you're done with that, you can bring it to your chin too. And then you just highlight. That's all you do. I have this little Becca travel one that Courtney got me for my birthday. I just like swirl it on my finger, which is probably gross. You should probably get a brush for this. And then you can put it on your little Cupid spell. To finish it off, I take this setting spray and I just... So that's, that's it. This is how you go from looking like you're seven to looking like you're 20. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. This has been a video that's been highly requested. So I hope that it was both entertaining and informative, I guess. My eyes are usually pretty strong enough for me, so I don't usually put anything down here except for this. Like I said, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I will see you guys next week. Please be sure to go follow all of my social media down in the description so you guys can keep up with me. I go on Snapchat and Twitter the most. Please go follow me on those if you don't already. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next week. Bye!